Hi everyone, here to talk to you today about the books that are nominated in the CBCA Children's Book of the Year Prize in the category of Picture Book. Now the interesting thing about Picture Book is it's actually for people that are age zero and above, or zero to 18 essentially. Uh, so some of these books would be considered um, for to be not suitable for young kids so just remember when you pick up a picture book that you have to be conscious you need to read the book before you show it to a child because picture books these days can contain themes that are not suitable for the younger audience with that said i'll start with dirt by sea now dirt by sea could be read by anyone and this is an unusual one because i don't think that in this prize the children's book prize they've ever had a graphic novel and this is a graphic novel dirt by sea by michael wagner and tom jellet um follows the trip of daisy and her dad now, i don't think dad has a name um around australia so what happens at the start of the story daisy and her family are sitting down watching an event and they're singing the australian anthem and they get to the part where it says australia is dirt by sea but daisy thinks it's dirt by sea and that then has a, a, a conversation with the family about well what does girt mean and Daisy just doesn't realise that you know, we're an island and she's just never seen an ocean. So her dad goes, right, that's it. We're going on a trip. Now, mum ha mum is not on the picture. She has passed away. And so they pull out all these old things of mum's, like her Gombe van, and go on a trip around Australia. And each page has sort of a different area. So up there, I can't see. Where is it? This side? Uh, is Queensland. Now, one of the beautiful things about this book is actually the end papers. Daisy's start picture, Daisy's end picture. So this is just a lovely book about reading about Australia and uh, the relationship from between a father and a daughter. So have a look at that one. Uh, this one here, Our Dreaming by Curly Saunders and Dub Leffler, uh, is a really beautiful look at what dreaming is at what the dreaming to curly is so her um, where she comes from i'm just trying to remember she is a gundagara raised guni woman um and dublefa is a let me see big big and ball. i'm sorry if i said it wrong um so they talk about how every nation has a different dreaming um, and the how we keep connection to country. So dreaming is more is more than just creation stories. It's also about how we connect to country and care for country. So that's a really beautiful book to have a look at. And it's actually told from the perspective of some echidnas. So it's a mother echidna talking to her baby. Next one, farmhouse. Uh, this one here follows the life of a farmhouse so just how a family lives in it what goes on through the generations until it is eventually abandoned um, i love sophie blackwell's illustrations okay so i can't tell you much more this is sort of one that you have to come and have a read of uh, i'm just going to jump because the last two that i want to show you are actually for older audiences frank's red hat have to say i love this one it's all about frank and frank the penguin there he is um is a bit he likes making stuff and it makes him a little bit different to all the others and the other penguins can't accept him for who he is so this is about frank trying to find acceptance um while still keeping himself being himself okay fantastic illustrations um, a lot to talk about and just the the illustrations just say so much so have a look at that one that one is fantastic now okay these last two i would say are for our year five six audiences paradise sands has a bit of a mystic feel to it it's about a young family who go out into the desert um, and come upon a house and at this particular house Past driving um, the family is 
kind of taken captive and the young girl has to find a way of getting her family out of it. Um, very powerful, but definitely for our older, our older audiences. Um, and the last one, I mean, this could be read to a younger audience, but I think that the most power would be in our year five and six audience, my strange shrinking parents. And it's essentially about some parents that have migrated to a place it could be Australia, and they give and give and give for their child. And while they're doing all these wonderful things to make sure that their child thrives, he grows and they shrink. Um, and it, there's just a lot to think about and to talk about in this story about giving and caring and loving and the immigrant story as well. Um, so I'll just show you some illustrations. Thank you.